Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here with Automation Links. Thanks for jumping on today. I wanna to go over the four different stages of your pricing tiers. Now, with the last six years that we've been in business uh, with Automation Links, we have tested and tried different things. And this is what I found has worked best for not only myself and my company, but also all the big businesses that we work with all around the world. So hopefully this brings you a ton of value. Um, if you don't wanna watch the entire video, just comment free guide or send me a message free guide and I will send you this free PDF um, so you can just download it and take a look for yourself. Um, but I hope it brings a ton of value. Let's jump right into it. Uh, so number one is gonna be always provide something for free for a cold audience. So people don't know you, people have never heard of you. If they're looking for your service or they're interested in something that you offer, or maybe they aren't and they just see your brand around, they need to have something and you need to provide them something of great value that will get them kind of warmed up and build that relationship with them. So the hardest thing to do online is build relationships with people. You know, face to face, if we shake each other's hands and we meet face to face, it's a lot easier to build that relationship and pe most people will just sign up or start working with you right away. But when it comes to online, there's so many different options out there. People are skeptical. So it's really good to have something for a cold audience, for something that people have never heard of you before. Some things that we recommend are like eBooks, um, downloads, demos, different ways for people to get in touch and get that free offer from you. So we do a couple different things. I have a free eBook that I give out. Make sure you let me know if you want that eBook. It's completely free and it will help your business grow online. Um, I do videos like this. Videos help build relationships. I also have podcasts, um, different things like that, posting on social media and webinars. That will be, provide value for free so people can start getting to know you and build that relationship. Uh, all right, tip number two, now you need is a low cost offer, something to let people experience what it's like working with you. Whether this is a free week um, trial where they can try your service for a week or um, something small at a lower cost where it's just a one-time purchase also gets rid of a lot of risk there. So if you have anything that's subscription or auto renews month to month, uh, people are nervous to get started on that. So offer something of one-time charge or something where they can test out your service, see what it's like working with you. Then they can see if it's a good fit and they're much more likely to build a relationship uh, with you and then see if it's a good fit and then make a decision after that. We provide a ebook. So any business owners out there that want something like this to provide value to their clients, we do a one-time charge for our ebook. So you can go buy an ebook from us, see what it's like working with us, see how our communication is with you. And if you think it's a good fit and you love your ebook, which everyone has so far, and you think it's the design is amazing, then you can go upgrade to websites and sales funnels later on. But it's only a one-time charge for your ebook. We get to know each other. You can see what it's like working with my team, the Automation Links team, and then we can go from there. So think about that. How are you gonna do it for your business? What can you offer as a one-time charge or a trial so people can get to know you and allow you to build that relationship with them. Number three, you really, if you wanna really scale a business and grow a business, this is gonna be different because you need a higher price offer. Almost every business needs a higher price offer. Now, if you're like a software company or something like that, or courses, you don't have to work one-on-one -on -one with people or help them one-on-one, -on -one, then it's a lot easier to have lower cost offers because you're gonna need thousands of them to really grow your business. Now you can't work one-on-one -on -one with thousands of people. So this is slightly different. If you can stay at the lower cost if you have something that's automated, but if you're still working one-on-one -on -one or have to communicate with clients like that personally, then you need to have high cost offers if you truly wanna scale, if you wanna build a team and employees and work with more people, you need to have a high cost offer to support employees, to office buildings, softwares, memberships, things to grow your business. So we offer full websites, sales funnel designs. This goes from $2,000 all the way up to $20,000 uh, to grow a business online. Now we have built relationships with people before we even show them those services. So we've given them value. They've gotten the ebook. They've um, bought an ebook from us and they saw what it was like working. They saw our designs. They watched our marketing videos. So how can you do this for your business? Have a free offer, a low cost one-time offer, and then a high price offer. So after you build a relationship with somebody, then you can upsell them and have them join You know, full cost. Put all their money in because they know they're gonna get results from you. This should be one of your most valuable things. 
Last but not least, you need to have that add-on service. So don't think of this as trying to bring in more revenue because it naturally will for your business. Think of it as what can we add on to our current uh, pricing and services that's gonna help our customer more. So as an example, if somebody is working out with you and you add supplements on there because you know it's gonna help them or a nutrition plan because it's gonna help them. Then what's gonna bring more value to your customers? What's gonna help them more, bring them better results? It's much easier to add that on because they know it's gonna provide more value. As an example, we do the websites and sales funnels, but you can add on our SEO service because now after the website's built, we're gonna start getting you rankings and better search results on Google if you upgrade to that service. So I really hope this helped you guys out. Thanks again for joining and please let me know if you need any help. Just leave a comment or send me a message that says uh, free guide or free PDF and I'll send this uh, spreadsheet over to you right away. You can save this so you can follow it when you're trying to create your pricing structures and tiers. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.